Welcome Aries and Crosswatchers. This is your general love reading for June 8th through the 14th. Aries, it looks like you're not speaking to somebody, uh, maybe using your intuition, you're feeling stuck and bound to something um, and you're trying to manifest something. So stick around, let's see where this goes. Hello and welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. I just want to take the time to thank everyone for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, and booking readings during these trying times. I appreciate all the love and support. I also want to give a big shout out to my girl Gina with the Tarot of Light for all of her love and support. Just as a reminder, all my readings are general and they will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's simply not your story. They are not gender specific. Everyone has masculine and feminine energies. So again, take it how it resonates. I'd like to give back to my amazing community by doing a weekly giveaway. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section, hashtag Quartz Rose Tarot giveaway. Each week, I'm going to randomly pick two winners for a three question reading. I will notify you by replying to your comment, you've won. So please keep an eye out. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, all of my information is listed in the description box below. I am looking forward to seeing all these wonderful comments. So good luck. And now stick around. Let's see where this goes. Aries, you're starting off the read with the High Priestess. This is about uh, not speaking, using your intuition, the Keeper of the Secrets. It's Pisces, Cancer's energy. Um, and you feel stuck and bound to something, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And you're manifesting. So you have the magician here, which is, um, this is Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy for me. You're trying to gain some clarity with the hermit card, which is Virgo. Um, some light being shed on something. You're manifesting this clarity about something that was toxic. You have the devil card, which is Capricorn. You have the lover's card, which is Gemini. Um, this is a choice, so a toxic choice, a choice between two, or a toxic soulmate. So it looks to me like you're 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 maybe not speaking to somebody that you felt stuck to, and you're manifesting the clarity about this toxic person. Um, but this is an ending, so something new can begin, and this is very significant to you right now, Aries, because. Just out of the gate, we have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas out of seven. So this is significant. So you're trying to gain clarity about something that was toxic. You're waiting. You could be yearning. You could be at a distance from this person. Um, you want a victory. You have the six of wands here. You want this victory. Um, this is about working on something. You have Virgo energy here as well with the eight of, of coin. And um, you want to speak a truth. The truth being spoken here, coming in quickly to speak this truth. Um, this is Aquarius energy. Uh, coming in quickly to speak this truth with the Knight of Swords. This is right in the center of the reed. So like you have gained this clarity is what I'm getting. You're waiting for this victory working on coming in to speak a truth. You could be watching somebody with the Page of Swords. They could be watching you. Tarot is the way of watching. So you have the Knight of the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And you're trying to gain a different perspective of the situation or you feel stuck. You feel stuck. Um, there was no equal give and take. This is Taurus energy with the Six of Coin. Um, in a family situation, Ten of Cups. So there's a family situation where all you think all the cups were filled, but there was no equal give and take in this family situation. Okay. You have somebody wanting to offer that cup with a Knight of Cups. And apologize. You have the Page of Coin. Because there was some heartbreak. Now, this could be a different person than what you've got over here. It could be the same person. So take it how it resonates with you. Now, somebody possibly wants to reconcile with this empress because I have the three of cups to the empress. I'm not thinking this is the third party situation, except I do have two threes back to back. So this could have been a broken hearted third party. 
Um, it could be also wanting to reconcile with the Empress here. Because you have the Empress, she's all four queens rolled into one. She is Libra, Cancer, and Taurus energy. And somebody wants to take that leap of faith um, with the full card, which is also Aries, Virgo um, energy here for me. Under the bottom of the deck, Aries, you have a tower moment, something that wasn't built on a solid foundation, uh, crumbles down. There is a passionate message. Somebody does want wish fulfillment. It's either going to transform or end a secret, something that's hidden under the, the veil of darkness, some illusion. So it's going to end the illusion. You have Scorpio and you have uh, Cancer's Pisces, Cancer Pisces energy with the moon card. Because the truth is spoken, somebody's coming forward to speak their truth. Here you are, Aries, the king of wands. This person doesn't ask permission. He does what he wants. This person goes for what he wants. He is uh, very charismatic, good looking. Um, and if he's in competition with somebody, he's going to win. He wants to move past the conflict. And he has made a decision here. He's at a crossroads here. To heal, he's hoping to heal something here with the star card Aquarius in a family, in a, in a relationship, a foundation. So he's, he's made the decision to heal something in a family situation. He does want happiness. He does want happiness here. He wants happiness and success with the Queen of Wands. Okay, his true match. Okay, so you do have a true match on the board here. So let me go over this with you. You weren't talking to somebody. Um, you were using your intuition. There were secrets that you felt stuck and bound to. You're manifesting the clarity for something that has to do with a toxic choice that you made, which ends so something new can begin. I love this card because on one side you have the fire and the other side you have, you know, you have, you have all four elements here. You have all four elements here. It's beautiful. You have the fire, you have the water, you have the earth and the air. So you're waiting for a victory. You want to work on the truth. You want to, you're maybe watching to gain more clarity. There was no equal give and take in a situation. You have somebody coming in to offer their cup because of a broken heart, apologizing, wanting to reconcile with an empress, which would be, you know, um, a Cancer, a Taurus, or a, a Cancer Taurus or a Libra, and you want to take this leap of faith. But there is a tower here because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. There is a passionate message of wish fulfillment to transform something that had trans had you have to transform whatever was hidden. Whatever was hidden in the situation needs to come to light, and that's what this truth is about: bringing whatever was in the darkness to the light. And it's the king of, of, um, of wands that's doing this, Aries Leo Sag. You know, he's wanting to move past all the drama, coming from the rough waters to the calm waters, making a decision. He's at a crossroads about healing. 11 11 would, this is my twin flame card, but this is about foundations and, and celebrations and, and relationships. He wants happiness and success with the sun card with his queen of wands. So, Aries, I'm going to take this into the extended. I'll read you on one side, your person on the other. You can flip it, switch it, however it resonates with you. I'll put some oracle cards on it and do a Celtic spread for you. Um, as always, um, I thank you for stopping by. I appreciate all of my subscribers. I do want to say, people are asking, though, the deck I'm using is the Tarot of Dreams this week. So um, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you over in Vimeo for the extended.